Good morning, good morning. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Derek Casey, coming to you live from Dallas, Texas. And I hope that you guys are having a beautiful Friday. Just getting started with the day, but I wanted to come on here, man, because I was just fired up um, from yesterday's message from my man, Jeff Trills, okay? And here's the funny thing about it, all right? I have been working all day, and I had seen several people um, that said that Jeff was on a call, and he was speaking into people. He was pouring into people and sharing this message with them. And when I tell you guys, I didn't hear the show. I wasn't there. I didn't hear the message. But there were three words that this message was created around. And when I tell you guys, the energy that I saw from other people who were speaking about what they heard from Jeff, it was crazy to me. And I... It was so much so that I didn't even have to hear the message to know the impact that it had on the, the people who were actually listening in. I didn't even have to hear the message because I, I knew it. And I talked with Jeff yesterday and, you know, we were just talking about this a little bit and it was just so exciting. So I wanted to come on here this morning and I want to do a couple of things. I want to talk about what these three words mean to me. You see it in my title, right? Impact over income, okay? And what I want you guys to do so we can make it interactive, right, is I want you in the comments. If you come across this video live this morning while I'm talking, or you come across this video on the replay, I want you to listen at this video and in the comments, I would love for you to tell me what impact over income means to you, okay? Because everybody's gonna have a different point of view on it. And I love to listen and hear what other people think because they may see it in a different way that I didn't see it, right? You may see it in a different way that they didn't see it, right? So we can start to really dig a little bit deeper into impact over income, okay? So <clears throat> one thing I learned, guys, is that a lot of people right now are leaning toward becoming entrepreneurs, right? Because we understand that in 2020, we had this pandemic, a lot of jobs were lost, companies closing down, just so many crazy things that has happened over the year. Now, things are starting to slowly move back uh, toward normalcy, but <clears throat> in a sense, excuse me, in a sense, we are still not out of the out of the smoke just yet, right? So more and more people are starting to look into ways of generating more income, right? And being able to prepare themselves just in case another pandemic shows up, they'll be you know prepared financially, right? But the one thing is is that a lot of times when we want to make you know the extra money or you know the build that additional cash flow, that's where our mind tends to focus on, <clears throat> which we understand that the end result is going to be us making money, right, living a better life, um, having that freedom, time freedom, financial freedom. These are the things that we are striving for. But when I heard this impact over income, it just literally put everything in perspective for me because on this journey, yes, we want to make money, but how do you make that money, right? How do you generate that additional income? And the only way to do it, guys, is by impacting others, right? The saying goes is if you help others get what they want, you're going to get what you want by default, okay? If you help others get what they want in life, you are going to get and achieve the things that you want in life by default, okay? That's so crazy to think about that, right? So like in my, you know, and it doesn't matter what industry you want to go in. I mean, if you're in health and wellness, I mean, if you're in crypto, if you're in the financial world, the credit industry, um, I, it doesn't matter what you're doing. But the question that you need to ask yourself about the opportunity that you're showing to people is how is this going to make an impact on somebody's life? How is it going to make an impact? When you slowly fall back from thinking about the money that you can make and the signups that you can get and you start focusing on other people, everything that you want is going to fall into place. And that's one of the biggest reasons why like, I've been able to win so much because of my passion 
to help others, my passion to impact others by sharing information. I can't make people do it or whatever the case, but if I come across something that has truly impacted my life, I want to pass that blessing along to somebody else that may be going through the struggle, that just been feeling like there is no way out, right? That this is just the way that life is going to be. I want to be able to show them something different. I want to be able to pull them in. I want to help them overcome some of that fear and that skepticism. I want to help them overcome that by being able to share information, share my story and how it has impacted me so that they can see themselves through my story. Right. That's how you want to be able to make an impact to people by understanding what is going on in the world around us. Right. So it doesn't matter if you're in health and wellness and you understand what your products can do for people, right? Let's set the commission to the side right now. And you're looking at your products and what they can do for people. Now what you have to understand is what is a common problem that we see in our world today? And how can you cater your message around that product, right? And health and wellness that's going to paint a picture on how your products are going to impact their lives by them taking it, right? And the way to solidify that is by sharing your own testimony or if there's people that have relatable stories to the people that you are, your prospects that you're talking to, being able to share them stories with them as well, okay? So this is just how it is. Like for me, I'm in the financial industry. When I got in this industry, I got in the industry in this particular company for my own personal reasons because I needed help. I was part of the statistic, right, of people living paycheck to paycheck, overpaying in taxes, dealing with bad credit, buried under debt, not having two nickels to rub together for my retirement and my children's financial future, right? I was part of that. And I knew that if I didn't change what I was doing on a daily basis, that I was going to fall into that trap for years to come. And then after my time is gone, leaving my kids and my wife with nothing. So I really had to start thinking outside the box. So when I seen this opportunity, I saw a way out. I finally seen, I was like, this is what I've been waiting for and needing in my life to be able to help us overcome some of the financial obstacles that we have been dealing with for so many years. And that's when I got started. And when I started seeing the results that started happening for me, you know what I'm saying? Like, Stop, you know, they helped me to stop overpaying in taxes, putting extra money in my check, right? I started seeing my credit scores going up. So my interest rates and insurance premiums started coming down. You know, they're helping to, to eliminate debt, you know, get me back where I need to be, right? And helping to increase that cash flow by helping me get my money out of the hands of the government, the banks, and big business, right? So, like, this was on a more personal level. So when I seen that, and this program was able to help me and my wife out with a team of licensed experts with over 25 years of experience in their respective field, right? It made all the sense in the world. And at that point, I wasn't worried about the money side of it. I was so excited about how it impacted my life. I wanted to go and help impact others. Now, was there a business side to it? Absolutely. When you're going out there, you want to be getting getting paid for your efforts, right? But I wasn't focused on that. I wanted to tell people my story. I wanted them to understand that I've been through the struggle. I know what it feels like to, to window shop in life. You know what I'm saying? To live paycheck to paycheck. To look at how your financial situation can, can really break you down and build up that frustration, making you feel worthless, you know, different things like that. I've been there. And because of this program, this program has allowed me to break free from all of that negative thinking, to break free, to finally have a little bit more freedom in my life um, financially, a little bit more freedom time wise, being able to travel more, doing more things, um, even to a point now we're in the process of purchasing our first home. So like this is some things that like led me to this point. So when, if they could help me in a situation 
why wouldn't I want to go out here and share this information to help impact somebody else, right? Help to empower somebody else. Because once again, if you help others get what they want and desire in life, everything that you want and desire is going to happen by default. So once I started to understand that and I started going out here talking to people, that's when things started to change. When I started helping to paint that picture for them that they can do it, guys, that that changed everything for me. That changed everything for me. So for anybody that's watching this video, if you're in a business or whatever the case and you just frustrated because you're not getting signed ups or anything, then you got to pump the brakes a little bit. Go back to the basics and look at your opportunity from a different lens and then look at what's going on in the world around you and ask yourself, how can I make an impact in people's lives going to help them overcome these challenges? When you start thinking like that, your conversations are different. The way that you move in your business is going to be different. The way that you connect with people is going to be different. It's going to feel different. People are going to gravitate to you because you're not worried about just signing up somebody or whatever. You want to show them how it can help. See, it's, it's at a time in a business where it's time to stop talking about it and showing people how this can impact their lives and they can change them. Now, does that mean everybody going to sign up with you right away because you know you shifted your mindset and you focused on the impact over income? Absolutely not. But what it does for you is it plants a seed, okay? Because different people that you come across just may not be ready. They may have some things going on in their life right now where it's just not the right time for them. But if you plant the seed and you continue to keep information in front of them, keep sharing testimonies, that are relatable to their situation, over time, it's going to make sense. And when the time is right, guess what? They're going to be happy to join you in, on the journey, right? So that's what impact over income means to me is putting others before your pockets, okay? As Mr. Brown House usually say, put the mission before the commission, impact over income, right? It all falls under the same umbrella, the fact that we need to be focused more on how many people can we impact because this side of things, right? The money, the income, the freedom, the success, everything over here is going to happen by default because you put others first. All right. So that being said, I just want to come on and share this quick video with you guys um, and say thank you to Jeff for coming out and sharing this message yesterday. It, it had to be truly impactful for so many people to get on and post about this and share videos and, and just, you could see the, the, the smile, the joy that came from it. Like people needed to hear the message that Jeff had yesterday. And although I didn't hear it per se, I felt it through others that Jeff impacted with that message yesterday, okay? So I just wanted to come and share that with y'all. Once again, if you are coming across this video um, and you're listening in, guys, in the comments, I would love, love, love for you guys to just put what impact over income means to you. What does it mean to you? And how are you gonna use it and apply it to what you do in your business? So that's what I want y'all to do in my comments and I'm gonna read them. I'm gonna respond to them. You know what I'm saying? I definitely think that people need to hear those three words, impact over income. All right. So that being said, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate you. If you got any questions or anything, feel free to hit me up, but y'all have a wonderful, wonderful Friday. God bless. I'm going to talk to you soon.